asking after the much delay, RPI has finally cleared the way for foreign investors to use put and call options for their investments in India. In fact, Saroni has been tracking those developments pretty closely. Saroni, some landmark announcements here uh, coming in from the RPI. Uh, well, it was a much-awaited go-ahead as far as foreign investors are concerned. RBI has gusseted sure. this, amended the Foreign Exchange Management Act and allowed foreign investors to structure their investments via uh, the put and call options. Now, a couple of important points which RBI has said via this gazette is that uh, the option exit price for listed uh, entities will be uh, fixed to the market price, but for unlisted en entities will be uh, uh, marked with the return of equity. That is the bone of control tension here. Also, uh, this was the biggest detriment as far as allowing uh, put and call uh, was that a uh, lot of uh, debt investments were disguised in equity and brought into India and RBI has clearly said that they cannot have uh, debt instruments disguised as equity. We spoke to a lot of experts on this and what they have said uh, is that this helps in removing ambiguity uh, as far as put and call option is concerned for foreign investors. It will be a big boost as far as PE players and foreign also, uh, what they have said is the if RBI relooks at the pricing mechanism as far as the unlisted firms are concerned, because it's not market linked, it's linked to the return on equity. Uh, it will uh, be, be a big uh, booster for uh, foreign investors coming into because remember, a lot of big M&A deals like you know the Diageo USL or uh, the Kane Vedanta yeah. deal have been stuck in the past, and this is a big booster as far as uh, foreign sure. investors are concerned. All right, Saloni. You know, oh, let's discuss the story just a little bit more. Sudhir Sharma, the executive partner at Lakshmi, uh, Lakshmi Kumaran and Sridharan joins us now for more perspective on this issue. Uh, so let me uh, start by asking you, uh, you know, the, uh, that clarity on this issue really has been pending for a very long time. And uh, do you see this really as a win-win for both foreign investors and corporates? I feel it's a win-win situation. And so far as the India story is concerned, this was uh, long awaited. And now since we have clarity in terms of law that call and put options uh, are legally permissible in India as far as structuring your investments are concerned. So it will give a boost to the foreign investors to the extent required because there was no clarity on this particular issue. And while an investor, when he is investing in a particular country, they need to have absolute clarity whether these options are legally enforceable or not. Mm -hmm. Hold that thought. I think Saloni has a question for you. Go ahead, Saloni. Uh, so one uh, bone of contention here is, of course, the exit uh, valuation price. Uh, now, do you think that RBI should relook at uh, the pricing mechanism again uh, because uh, it could be a dampener uh, for foreign investors because for unlisted companies, uh, the exit price has been fixed on the return on equity. Uh, do you think uh, that will uh, just explain to our viewers how does it work? And do you think that RBI should relook at the pricing mechanism again? So if we look at, if we try to analyze the issue at hand, when a foreign investor is investing in an unlisted company in India, the pricing mechanisms or the pricing norms are based on the DCA method, the discounted cash free flow method. But at the time of exit, when they are going to enforce the call or put options, the notification of the RBI says that the pricing mechanism will be based on the return of equity as per the latest audited balance sheet. To a certain extent, that might be a deal killer in certain cases, especially in the infrastructure sector, uh, because uh, we have long gestation period. And you never know uh, at the time of exit if we are going to have the pricing norms based on the return of equity as per the latest audited balance sheet. The profit can be high at that particular point of time. The profit can be low. So RBI, I think, going forward should consider that the same pricing norms, the DCA method can be considered for uh, exit as well because that will take into account the, profit, uh, the profitability of that particular company in the years to come.